Dumbo. Come on. In Sydney, Emily and Kyle are taking 14-year-old Rambo for a walk in the park. Come here. Come here. Come here. Bo's a happy dog. He thinks he's a bit younger than he actually is. <laughs> but I think his body at this point is just kind of a roadblock for him. Good boy. Oh, he's a good dog, huh? Bo has a laundry list of problems, but probably his arthritis has been the thing that's most been acting up lately. Go on, Bo. Go on. Today, Rambo is coming to see Kate for help with his ageing body. Hey, you guys. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you just being on the floor like this? Hello. How are you? Rambo is one of my favourite dogs. He's known me for a very long time and I know that he trusts that I'm not going to hurt him. Which one do you like? Very clever. Guys, how's he going? Not great, but it's six years since we got him now. He's definitely slowing down. Mm -hmm. He can't get up as much as he used to. Yeah, his main bed in the morning now, I gotta pick up one edge okay. and literally roll him up oh, wow. and out. So he's just right. really stiff and slow getting yep. up. Yep. Yep. What I really care about in older dogs, apart from everything else, I care about things that affect their quality of life. And arthritis affects his quality of life. So you see where he's starting to lose muscle mass around this back end, this sort of caved in appearance down around here. So he's lost all of his muscle mass around this back end. Mm. It's a classic sign with arthritis and because often they've got fur, often people don't really notice it. But you do see how he's gotten really thin in the hips. Do that again. Do that again. So what we're looking at here is proprioception. So this has a look at some of our spinal nerves. So if you put your foot the wrong way around, it should flick straight back up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See what happens? But there's a delay. Yeah. Yeah. It suggests that there's probably some kind of degenerative joint disease around his spine. Yeah. Okay. He's got diffuse osteoarthritis, and that means it's not just in his hips, it's everywhere. What are we gonna do with you, huh? There you go. A few things that we do need to talk about. The first thing is his controlled exercise. You can't stop exercising him, but you do need to just control his exercise. So no balls at the park. Balls are banned. Okay. And his head, he still thinks he's two, and he's gonna do himself some damage. He is a 13 to 14 year old elderly geriatric dog. You know, I have a 14 year old golden retriever who has the worst arthritis ever. So I know what works and I know what doesn't work. They have to be on a supplement. There is a supplement, Blackmore's Osteo Advanced, and it's a chondroitin glucosamine green lipid muscle product. Definitely helps in terms of easing some of the symptoms associated with degenerative joint disease and arthritis, and it's all natural. We've tried a bunch of different medications for Bo to try to help alleviate some of the pain that he's been experiencing. They've all seemed to cause one side effect or another, so we're really hoping that we can find something that he'll like um, and that also works. You want the whole thing? No, you can't have the whole thing. You can have this one. Delicious. Chewy. Likes it. <laughs> do you like that one, do you? And they'll make your arthritis better? Mm -hmm. You have one of them once a day. Got it? Do you think that all I do is give you snacks when you come here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. See you, Bowie. The chew, he seems to really like the flavor. He just probably would have eaten the whole bucket if we'd let him. <laughs> really excited to, to kind of work this in along with everything else to manage his arthritis. He's the first old dog either of us adopted and really been amazed by how much love he's kind of brought into our lives. And we really think that there's great vets out there like Dr. Kate that are helping people keep these dogs going longer yeah. so that they can live happy lives. He's a good boy. Good boy.